my dear students welcome to space cake myself surendra babu in this video i would like to discuss about detailed solutions of measurements questions asked in tsbsc awe exam electrical paper 2 the exam was conducted on january 22nd 2023 students let us see the first question Student, this is the question based on the average reading multimeter. An average reading multimeter reads 5 volts. Yes, students, concentrate. When fed with a square wave symmetric about time about the time axis, it is a given is square wave symmetrical waveform. For the same input, an RMS reading meter will read. What the reading of the RMS meter, students? Then what are the detailed solution for this question, students? That you have to concentrate. given that a symmetrical square wave we know that a symmetrical square wave form its average value is zero if you calculate directly but in the problem it is giving that average is 5 volts it is given that means the average reading multimeter is measuring 5 volts means this is the average reading multimeter Yes, friends. Concentrate. It measuring five volts means this waveform is not applied directly. We know that multimeter senses the only DC. You have to consider the digital multimeter. It senses the only DC. Only DC means it is rectified. Then it is applied. That is the meaning. We are using rectifier. Generally, you have to use the full wave rectifier. Then it is applied. Yes, students. Let this peak value is Vm. This is minus Vm. If we consider the full wave rectifier, then this output is given to the average reading multimeter. What the full wave rectifier can do, students? This negative is converted into positive. Then we can get the shape like this. Okay, this is the peak value. Yes, students. Then what the average reading multimeter giving that it measures the average value. then you tell the students what the average value of this waveform it is a pure dc for pure dc average value is the peak value okay this is maximum value only this is vm but what this average value is given in the problem this is 5 volts now the same waveform is applied to rms reading multimeter or rms reading meter students what is the reading that you have to calculate the same square waveform this is vm this is minus vm it is applied through rectifier only how to take rectifier then this is rms reading meter yes friends rms reading meter what this rms reading meter measures rms value once it is rectified this negative is converted as a positive let assume that is a full wave rectifier then what the rms reading meter measures rms value what the rms value of this waveform students it is a pure dc rms value equal to peak value but this value already calculated what this vm value 5 volts that means the rms reading meter measuring the 5 volts then which option is correct students option 1 is correct see the one more question this is a question based on the ammeter this model is repeated in all the computer exams it's a very important model also students by seeing the options we have to eliminate two options ammeter means only center resistance there is no any series resistance then option 3 is not the correct option 4 is also not the correct either 1 or 2 is the correct then to find a, is a 1 or 2 you have to find the rsh we know that in ammeters we have to use the shunt resistance what is the formula for rsh students that is rm by m minus 1 what is m students m equal to i by im what is i the current to be extended at to what range you have to extend 30 amperes what is im students im equal to 10 ampere okay, this is equal to 3 then what is rss students 
this RSH equal to Rm by M minus 1. What is Rm students? Meter resistance is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 by 3 minus 1 that is 0 0.1 by 2. Okay, this is equal to RSH is how much friends? This RSH equal to 0 0.05 ohms. Okay, this is the final answer. This RSH is the shunt resistance. That is a 0 0.05 ohms in shunt with the meter because the meter concept. It is very simple. See the one more question students. Which bridge is used to measure frequency? In the given bridges, which is the uh, frequency sensitive bridge friends? Yes, Wien's bridge is the frequency sensitive bridge. Whatever the Anderson bridge is used for inductance measurement. Maxwell's bridge is also inductance measurement. Sharing bridge is used for the capacitance. You can also use for to measure the permittivity. To measure the permittivity. You can also use the which of the following bridge is the more accurate bridge for measurement of the capacitance means uh, sharing bridge. But here it is asking that frequency. Wien's bridge is the frequency sensitive bridge students. That is option 1 is correct. See the one more question students. This is the question based on the CRO. XY mode of, XY mode of operation that is the Lisa's pattern. Uh, it is given that uh, to get the ellipse along the y axis. To get the ellipse along the y axis students. Okay, this pattern you have to get. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. To get the ellipse along the y axis. It is given that to get the ellipse along the y axis. Along the y axis means to get this pattern always y amplitude must be greater than x amplitude friends. That is amplitude must be unequal. One more observation. In order to get the ellipse there must be a phase difference. There must be phase difference friends. There must be phase difference. Phase difference. But phase difference but equal frequency but equal frequency take the one example students for this case see for example for example you have to take uh, vy equal to 5 cos 100t 5 cos or 5 sin 100t you have to take vy equal to i am taking or you take the 10 sin 100t 10 sin 100t vx equal to 5 cos 100t frequencies must be equal then amplitudes which amplitude is greater y amplitude is greater than as compared to x amplitude then we can get the ellipse along the y axis if the ellipse is along the x axis means which amplitude must be greater students x amplitude must be greater than y axis that is if vx greater than vy students then we can get the ellipse like this along the x axis we can get okay, that point you have to concentrate then in given options which is correct students Amplitudes must be different, there must be phase difference but equal frequency. Two signals are periodic with the same frequency but different phase and amplitude. There must be different phase and amplitude friends, option 2 is correct. See the one more question. A dynamometer type watt meter is used to measure power of a room heater. Which option is correct friends? It is very simple. Given that a dynamometer type watt meter, we know that in electro dynamometer type watt meter, there is a one fixed coil, it is also called current coil and there is a moving coil, it is also called pressure coil students. It is measuring the power in the res heater. Heater is the example of resist to load students. Heater is the example of resist to load. Okay, here we are giving the supply. What this coil students? This is called current coil or fixed coil. The current through the current coil is proportional to load. The current through the pressure coil or this is called which one students? Pressure coil or moving coil. Pressure coil or moving coil. The current through the pressure coil is proportional to voltage. But always we know that current coil current is very much greater than the pressure coil current. The current ideally the pressure coil current is zero. Then which current is greater students? Current coil or it is also called fixed coil. Fixed coil current is greater. Current in the fixed coil is lower than the current in the moving coil. Wrong statement cannot comment on the relay to current strength this also wrong statement current in the fixed coil is same as the current in the moving coil this is also wrong statement students a yeah, current in the fixed coil is more than the current in the moving coil yes this is the correct statement option 4 is correct students see the one more question which bridge can be used for measuring relay to permeability it is not permittivity sir it is a given that permeability 
Permeability is the related to magnetic field. Magnetic field. This is related to magnetic field. Related to magnetic field. Magnetic field. Yes, friend. Related to magnetic field. That is inductance concept. L concept. That is the inductance concept. But actually to measure the relay to permeability more accurate bridge is the Owens bridge. But in the given options Owens bridge is not there. Shearing bridge is the relay to permittivity that is why it is not the answer. Wheatstone bridge is the resistance. Kelvin double bridge is also low resistance. Wheatstone bridge is the medium resistance. The only bridge available in the given option related to inductance is Anderson bridge that you have to select the Anderson bridge only. It is not a permeability, it is not a permittivity, it is given that permeability. If it is given that permittivity, your answer is sharing bridge. Okay, that point you have to concern. Yes, friends, okay, this is about the detailed solutions of measurements questions asked in TSPSC AW exam, friends. Thank you.